What's poppin' YouTube, this Trey aka Mass Money, and today we're gonna go over why you should have more than one broker. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so my first one is, um, we're gonna go over is M1. I like M1 because, um, you get these pies, and you also get this thing called Auto Invest, so, like, every week, like, I'll have it set to where it'll put, like, 70 bucks in one pie or 70 bucks in another. So, I'll, I'll have it set to, like, every week. I know some of you can't afford, afford to put that, or some of you can put way more than that. It's like whatever you feel comfortable. I mean, uh, eventually I'm going to increase it to way more than 150 a week or whatever. So I'm going to, hopefully one day if I make enough money, I'll make it to where I can do $500 a week. I'll want to do that. But yeah, let's go over my first pie. This was the original pie. Um, it was it was a lot bigger, and it got just got too overcrowded, so I had to make a second pie. So you see, I got Tesla, Apple, Airbnb, good the good stuff, the big boys. I got Square, PayPal, Ruku, Ark Invest, RQ, JP Morgan, Amazon, DraftKings. I got Canopy Growth, you know, Tattoo Chef. Got one little cruise thing. This ain't gonna pop for a while, but that's the whole point. You wanna keep buying when it's low, and when it does pop, oh man. But yeah, I mean, I haven't had this account that long either. I created this account what September or something like that. It's already up. It's at two G's. I'm already up uh, 97 percent and 306 dollars uh, gain. And I barely put any money. Imagine if I'm putting like heavy money in there, dropping like I don't know 500 bucks a week or something. Like, crazy. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, don't look at this right here. This is 2000. When I first started M1, uh, when I first got to stock market last year. Um, I, went, I made a mistake and I bought Carnival Cruise and Bowen. I bought at the top, and then they just started crashing. I had sold out, and I was like, "If I don't sell, I'm gonna lose a lot more money." And I'm kind of kind of glad I did, cause like, even right now, um, I mean, Carnival Cruise came up back a little bit and it came back down, but like Bowen has been pretty low for like the longest. So I got out of there. <laughs> the next, the next uh, pie. This is a new one I just made. It's, it's low right now because it just started like a week ago or two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And um, I started, I think I started with, a, I, I put a, a hundred dollars in there and then, and then now it's just going to be seventy dollars a week. Right now. I got Microsoft, that's the big dog in there. I got Neo, like this, this profile is super risky. I got a lot of risky. I got Neo in there. Uh, you know, Disney's good. You know, CCI is supposed to be lucid, but hopefully we'll find out. I got Fiverr. I got this this one's kind of risky too. To like, me, it's like the uh, African version of Amazon. You know, I got Nvidia. I got, I got a little bit. Of, you gotta have a little bit of um, Bitcoin and crypto in there. So I got uh, Riot Blockchain. You know, they do mining and whatnot. Skywork Solution. I got this from a uh, YouTuber named Jeremy. Uh, this position is moving pretty good. And I got there late because he'd been talking about this stock last year. And imagine if I would have gotten there last year. Oh my god, man. You know, I got Facebook. You gotta have a little Facebook in there. I don't put too much, but like 6%. Because Facebook is get, catching a lot of heat and stuff. Getting into politics and all that BS. Plug Power, alright. I, I don't know too much. I mean, it's, it's an energy company, but we'll, we'll see, man. Switch back. I like Switch back. Same thing. Uh, Slack, Slack is nice too. Palantir is nice too. So that's it for this for M1 uh, for Acorn. I'm not gonna go over too much. Acorn is simple, man. I just put seventy five dollars a week. It's like basically it's like a bunch of ETFs. And it's like automatic. And as you can see, I have had it for like almost a year now. I'm already up up seventeen percent, almost seven hundred dollars profit. So. It's not a lot, but I mean, come on, I didn't do nothing. I just set it to automatic. It's just money's making money. It's, it's a lot more money than I'll make sitting in a damn bank account. So that's that. You know, you get dividends and all that stuff. Um, and the last one's going to be Robinhood. Like Robinhood, I use it for more like, like most like swing trading. I, don't, I, I really do any day trading. I don't like doing day trading too much. Like swing trading, so like, I'll stay in a stock for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, and then when I see like decent profits, like 50%, 70% or 50% profit, I'll be like, sell and I look for the next big play. That's what I do. And then, as you can see, this thing is growing a lot. Like, look at one year, six G's. 
you know. I don't think that's correct because sometimes like, I think they calc like Robin Hood calculates even the money that you put in there. I wish they would just show me just if I'm making 7 G's profit without the whole money in there. But like Robin Hood's funny like that, man. But it, you see, my Robin Hood is, is no joke, man. I make bank in this one. Like I said, I don't spend any of the money in the Robin Hood either. I keep it all in there. But uh, yeah, my goal usually was to get 100000 a year, but. We'll see, man. Anything is better than nothing. But uh, yeah, I mean that's it for now, guys. So please like, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And remember, if it don't make money, then it don't make sense. Peace out.